My Comedy DVDs, part nine. Ahoy, ahoy, everybody, and welcome to part nine of a look at my comedy DVDs. So, we've got stand ups, we've got sketch shows, we've got sitcoms, we've got films, we've got various other comedy ish bits. Um, let's carry straight on with an audience with Billy Connolly. So, in the last part, I showed a two show DVD set for Billy Connolly, and I mentioned here that this is probably my favourite thing that he's done. Just really strong stuff on here. As I say, probably my favourite thing that Billy Connolly's done. Uh, more Billy Connolly. So, although I said in part two that, you know, I really like, you know, um, I admire him. I think he's really funny, but I do find a little goes a long way. As you can see, I do have a fair bit of him. Uh, this is another twofer. So this has got Billy Connolly live from somewhere. I haven't got any dates on here. And also Billy Connolly live 1994. But yeah, as I said, you know, I do find him very funny, but over an hour and a half, hour, 20 minutes, whatever it is, hour and a half on these cases. Show I do find myself flagging at times. Then we have uh, Al Murray the Pub Landlord live at the Palladium. So in previous parts I've shown a number of Al Murray DVDs, both live, chat show and his sitcom. This is obviously is more of the same as I said before, he is a, a masterful stand-up. But you need to realise he is playing a character. Okay, this is at last a 1948 show. So this is a two DVD set um, of, at the time, recently rediscovered five, sorry, five recently rediscovered compilation shows, I think from Sweden or somewhere like that. So the series, uh, there was two series of it, I think. I won't do that, that's too far back. There were two series of it, I think, if I remember correctly. Uh, it was a show put together by David Frost for his Rediffusion uh, Studios. And it was John Cleese, who he'd worked with on the Frost Report. Uh, Graham Chapman, who was obviously John's writing partner, and they wrote for the Frost Report as well. Uh, Tim Brooke Taylor, again, right on the Frost Report went to university with John and Graham uh, and they brought in Marty Feldman who was again a writer on the Frost Report and wrote Round the Horn with Barry Took but had never performed before and it's a sketch show with links by the lovely Amy McDonald so it was originally it was believed that they'd all been lost but then they found these five compilations they have subsequently found more complete episodes and may have had a release and I have got them and you will be seeing those at a later date. Um, the Four Yorkshiremen sketch, you know, the famous Monty Python sketch, is actually a famous at last of the 1948 show sketch. I found when I watched these, there's some really strong stuff, but I was a bit disappointed. But watching the complete shows, I enjoyed them a lot more. This is Badil and Skinner's Fantasy Football 2004. So for the 2004 World Cup, uh, ITV bought Fantasy Football basically off of BBC. And every evening, I think it was every evening, or certainly many evenings throughout the World Cup, um, they did live Fantasy Football shows. They were very good. They weren't quite as good as the original stuff, but I got a, you know, Fantasy Football League plays a huge part in my heart. And for that, this is enjoyable enough anyway. Yeah. Uh, on a related note, we have Badil and Skinner Unplanned, live from London's West End. So this started as an Edinburgh show, where basically Frank and David would sit on a sofa in a theatre and talk about things that were suggested to him by the audience. Uh, 
then it became a, an ITV show. Again, exactly the same premise. And then they did it in West End and this DVD came out of that. But yeah, really, you know, the two of them together are just a lot of fun. So always enjoy that. We have Bang Bang It's Reeves and Mortimer, the complete series. So they've done Big Reeves Big Night Out on Channel 4, the moment signed by the BBC and they did The Smell of Reeves and Mortimer on BBC Two. Then three years later, after they'd done Shooting Stars for a bit, they came back with another sketch show and it's Bang Bang It's Reeves and Mortimer. It's all very similar style-wise, you know, it's them with a desk with linking characters and sketches appearing. But as always, some really funny stuff. I just absolutely love Reeves and Mortimer. Great, great stuff. Uh, some more Jasper Carrot, so I showed some Jasper Carrot uh, Part 7. This is Beat the Carrot, which was an ITV special from 1981, recorded at the London Palladium. Sort of a, a best of his stand-ups, really. It's only 50 minutes, but it's really, really good stuff. We have a bit of Fry and Lobby, the complete first series, so I have shown later series previously. So as I've said before, when they're in each episode, they sort of got two really, really great sketches, moments, you know, a lot of decent stuff and a couple of bits that really don't really work for me, but overall really strong. We have... Alan Partridge presents the Cream of British Comedy official bootleg, raising money for the Teenage Cancer Trust. So this was a charity gig at the Royal Albert Hall, raising money for the Teenage Cancer Trust. Uh, so obviously Steve Coogan, Ricky Gervais, Rob Brydon, Rich Hall, Simon Pegg, Noel Fielding, uh, David Williams and Matt Lucas. And others, I think. But it's just, yeah, a lot of fun. We have Ali G I, which is a compilation of, sorry, it's, it's rattling. It's a compilation of highlights from the Ali G show, which is the chat show that he had on Channel 4, um, plus 30 minutes of unseen and unbroadcastable material. And... Also, making his DVD debut, courtesy of Kazakhstani Television, we introduce Borat. Um, yeah, lots of funny stuff on here. I really liked Ali G. I mean, I, I like a lot of Sasha Baron Cameron's work, but Ali G, the TV series I've really loved. Uh, this is the movie, Ali G in the House. It's not great, but again, it has its moments. Um... And, you know, seeing Martin Freeman dress like that. Is it going to focus? I think you can make him out anyway. Um, it's always a, seems a bit strange given what he's gone on to do. But, yeah, it's okay. Uh, more Al Murray live stuff. We have My Gap and My Rules, which was his first live DVD. As I've said before, very clever what he does, very funny stuff. Uh, this is another one. This is And a Glass of White Wine for the Lady. And giving it to both barrels live. So, all oh, really good stuff. Uh, another bit of Ryan Laurie, this is complete second series, so what I said before. Uh, let's grab another pile, let's do these. So, these are wallet size DVDs. This is a combination of mainly, in this case, um, cover mounts, or not cover mount, but um, DVDs that were given away free with newspapers back when they used to do that. Um, working in a garage that sells newspapers at the end of a Sunday, or a Saturday, when the occasions are in on a Saturday, um, any unsold papers they don't want the DVDs back, so we just helped ourselves to them. So I picked up a few things, including the film of Up Pompeii. Um, nearly, I think all these I'm going to show you uh, 
bare, sh- bare pan and scan. They're not widescreen or anything, which is the only real downer on them. Um, but yeah, I like Up Pompeii a fair bit. Clockwise, which is a brilliant film. Um, I must get a proper version of it because, again, this is pan and scan. But I'm not going to say no for nothing. Okay, this isn't a freebie. So this was bought from Go Faster Stripe, who I've talked about before when I showed the Fist of Fun DVDs. And the reason they sort of got involved with both Richard Herring and then obviously releasing Fist of Fun was because the first thing that they put out was Stuart Lee's 90s comedian. So basically he released two, I think, stand-up DVDs through proper studios. Um, and then they decided they didn't want to release this one. So um, Chris Evans, not that one or that one, who owns and runs Go Faster Stripe, said, we'll put it out, we'll record it, we'll put it out, because he wanted to see it, basically. Um, and so a whole video label, or DVD label, was born. Um, love Stuart Lee. Hilarious stuff. This is another freebie. Um, this is a Cheese and Worcester. So it was... Part one was in the Saturday Telegraph and part two was on the Sunday Telegraph. But for some reason I never got this part two. So I've only got In Court After the Boat Race. I remember not particularly enjoying it and it sort of put me off watching them. But I must watch them at some point. Uh, this was free with FHM. So I would have bought FHM with this in it. Uh, FHM Stand Up Heroes 2009. Um, so it's just compilation of clips from the comedy DVDs that were coming out for Christmas 2009. So we've got Russell Brand, Ed Byrne, Jimmy Carr, Russell Howard, Stephen K. Amos, Johnny Vegas, Rod Gilbert and Al Murray. So a lot of that stuff I have got the actual DVDs for. Uh, so this was another one. This was given away the Sunday Mirror. And it's an episode of Some Mothers Do Have Them and an episode of Dad's Army. Uh, Keep Young and Beautiful and The Psychiatrist. Uh, I have a complete Dad's Army set, so I have that properly. But that's the only Some Mothers Do Have Them I currently own. Not that I'm averse to owning it, I just never got round to it. Uh, another, this was Free with the Sunday Times. Uh, again, problem with this is that it's in pan and scan, not widescreen. So this was How to Get Ahead in Advertising which was um, Bruce Robinson's follow-up to With Nail and I. It's not a sequel or anything like that, but it was what he did afterwards. Uh, so Richard E. Grant plays an advertising executive and he's got vitus block, basically, and he develops a pimple on his neck, which grows and grows and grows and becomes a second head and then takes him over. Um, yeah, unusual film, but a lot of fun. Uh, another one of these twofers from the Sunday Mirror. Yeah. Uh, Hancock's Half Hour, The Lawyer, and Stepped on Summer Diploma. So again, Hancock's Half Hour, I have everything that exists on DVD. Stepped on Sun, again, never got round to, but not averse to. Uh, from the Saturday Mirror, because on my back is coming in tomorrow's, and it's the one, the Dad's Army one. Uh, we have... Roy Clark's Keeping Up Appearances, The New Vicar, and One Foot in the Grave, Dreamland. Both series that I never loved, but I could always quite happily watch. Uh, this was given away... with something. But I can't remember what. I can't see it said anywhere. It's on behalf of British Heart Foundation. I can't remember what it was given away with. It might have been a woman's magazine or something like that, which I ended up just buying, giving mum a magazine and keeping a DVD. Um, this is the, the Angina monologues. Uh, Victoria Wood live show, I think it was. In aid of, uh, in aid of a BHF. Uh, but Katie Brown, Julia Davis, Izzy Suti are also on this. But it was, it was good. Uh with the Daily Telegraph we have Chaplin the Richard Attenborough film starring Robert Downey Jr uh, this is in proper aspect ratio um, really good film Chaplin enjoy that a lot 
And this is another Go Fast and Stripe release to end this part. Um, this is a magnificent Kevin Eldon, Gosport's own. Uh, Kevin Eldon is titting about. So this is in black and white. And it's it's his only, I think, stand-up show he ever did. Some really funny stuff in here, as uh, you may have gathered. Um, I have a lot of time for Kevin. I like this because the cover's got the footprints on it. But then if you look inside... They carry on inside as well. Um, nice little touch. Yeah, as, as you may have gathered, I, I have a lot of time for Kevin Alden. I think he's a genius. His BBC Two show was criminally underrated. But yeah, that's very good as well. Okay, so that's it for part nine. Thank you for watching. Like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in another video. Thanks. Bye. <music>